Time now, 546. The incredible impact of service dogs on our veterans is the topic of today's Tully's Tales. PTSD can have such a negative impact on someone's everyday life, but I found a man who attributes much of his recovery to his new dog, Daisy. We want positive reinforcement, not negative reinforcement. Let's do it again. In this Tully's Tales, train a dog, save a warrior. It made the whole family better. Lynn Colombo is working with Anthony McLaurin and his service dog, Daisy. Like she says, you train the owner, not the dog. I graduated from ABC College for training dogs. I'm a, a massage therapist for dogs. Yeah. And he found me. I was at the top of my class, so he called me. And for this Army veteran, it was one of the most important calls he's ever made. She has changed my life. Um, I've had her since September, and I've got had a way better quality of life since, since having her. Anthony has PTSD, and whenever a person has an episode, they actually omit a scent. A dog can pick up on that. She grounds me. Um, she keeps me calm. Um, if I have an episode, um, she'll be there to comfort me. That has to be the reason you do this, oh, right? right it's the it's the payoff when you see it. See it. All yes. come in it's all to... volunteer. It's the 501C C program. It's all volunteer. So it is a payoff. Anthony had his doubts in the beginning. When I first started, um, I was just like, okay, I would drive out to see this lady and they're telling me they're gonna be able to do all this stuff and I'm just like, oh, whatever. But once I got there and I met her and we started training, I was just like blown away. And so are we. They deliver on everything they promised they could do and I got a lifelong partner. <laughs> He sure does. I want to tell your pet story, too. Join the Tully's Tales Facebook group. Tell me about your rescued pet, your story, a shelter, anything. They all need a lot of help right now, and I'm happy to feature them. Just send in a nomination. So, Anthony, you know, big props to him for doing the interview with us because yeah. it's an everyday thing. He's constantly battling anxiety. Daisy right next to him while we had the camera on him, keeping him calm, and it worked. And, you know, the training, it's not easy, but... You train the owner, not the dog. They went through the process. She's a gem. He's a gem. They're a perfect match. Yeah, that's fantastic. What a testament it is. Just a I know. beautiful yeah. story, too. I, I love that when Daisy he reaches down and Daisy. Oh, Daisy him. loves him. And, oh, and Heather, so you know, they, they were talking about how pit, a lot of people, it's a, it's a misconception. Pit bulls can't be mm -hmm. good service dogs. And Anthony's like, I love showing people that Daisy is a service dog because she's a pit mix mm. and she's fantastic. Absolutely. I mean, I think that it's all in how the dog is trained. It is. And the, and the upbringing of the dog. So, mm -hmm. you know, if it's in a good home, it's going to be a good dog. It's in a great home. Oh, yeah, so yeah. sweet.